How anxious to apply my smoking technology onto this portrait of the sisters. Last time I redid it was 2017 or 2018, so I've been thinking about it. Oh, no, no, I'm lying, lying. I added this grass last summer, but it can be taken off. It's very gentle. It's supposed to be two sisters, two galaxies, Andromeda and Milky Way. And the green one is Milky Way. She creates organic life. We don't know about Andromeda. So smoking technology started on the ceiling, and I will proceed. But in the meantime, <clears throat> I'm taking it onto the canvas. And it's coming out real nice. Let me show you some latest effects. And I'm still debating whether some paintings need it. So <clears throat> here's, for instance, sky. It can use some more color over the smoke, you understand? This is former Gaia tree with the sky brought out. So here, for instance, something that is 90% almost finished. So here, smoke went onto a surface and then bluish clouds. Clouds are white, but I decided to make them bluish. And here, smoke goes over two different colors, the pink and the pipe that was holding the canvas against the wall <laughs> came out as half moon or something. And then you have this white very nicely. This is the painting that I've been torturing for 20 years with the crab, with Delaware crab from Chesapeake Bay. <laughs> so it's a view of the beach from the side of the ocean. Those pouches, those those things are so comfortable and I reuse them from recycling, from people shipping, getting shipments. Paintings are heavy, so when they lean against each other, you know, I'm repainting them 20 years over and over. This needs to go back to the area because it needs that paint. I love this landscape, it's so peaceful. It doesn't need anything else for now. I'm fantasizing about giving it a few lines, maybe 10, 20 powerful lines with graphite with, to underline the line of the trees. But without it, it's already very gentle. It reminds me too much of this artist who is really mass producing, who is not very original, last name Khan, like Genghis Khan. I think he's dead now. He was 90, 20 years ago. But I don't want to be like him. I want to be Andrei Bogoslavsky. And my paintings are more unreasonable than his. He's just a teach artist selling in more expensive tourist galleries. So I love everything about it. So spontaneous, so accidental, so unpredictable. And the trunks of the trees are made out of leaking paint. I mean, the paint leaked. And I thought to myself, let me leave it like that. And then I added this yellow at the bottom and I left this white, unreasonable white, and it's working, it's working. Here's another masterpiece, amazing, billion dollar painting, which basically doesn't have anything, but the tremendous power of color, the meditative mood of this upper, upper complexity of textures and smoke, you understand? It's more profound than Rotko. You know paintings by Rotko? You walk into a room and you sit there for an hour meditating about purpose of life and, and truth about time. So this is more powerful because it's passionate and organic and it's made by, by nature of the smoke, of the sood. I call my direction in art, I made it up, gravitationalism because I, I well, it's a long story.